everyone, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony here with another, <laughs> well, it's uh, pretty much both my uncle and Hero Factory, technically. This is supposed to be Makuta Teradax as a Hero Factory hero. What could be the explanation behind this? Well, maybe Makuta managed to get into the Hero Factory universe and he took on the form of a hero. Now this is obviously supposed to be a first series hero, one of the original versions of the heroes before they went into uh, the upgrade, um, having them go into the Tupino form, which then uses what people call the character and creature building system nowadays. And I just thought of, uh, making this. Of course, I have used this mask on a Hero Factory Hero mock before. And I now decided to make one that, uh, is supposed to be Makuta himself. Now, I unfortunately did not have the, uh, the black Hero feet. So I went with the, uh, Bionicle Stars series of feet. Though they kind of look odd, don't you think? They kind of look odd. And I also did not have a pair of black uh, hands, so I went with the claw pieces right here, uh, which are from the uh, from Scorpio and Waspix in the Savage Planet series. But they were first introduced with the Ben 10 series of sets, which came out before Hero Factory. I went ahead and used those, and they are quite fitting, considering that this is the Kuda disguised as a hero, using uh, black for his overall body. Now, of course, his mask can also be rotated to show his other face, and this is also, obviously, the uh, movie edition of the Kanoe Kraken, the Mask of Shadow. Alright, so that is it for this one, but if you did not like this mock, well don't worry, I have something even better for you to see. What do you think of that, huh? Isn't that amazing right there? Yep, this is a Titan version of Makuta. Right, let me oh, again, lower it down a little bit more. I'm gonna adjust the uh, camera stand as much as I can. I'm not quite sure if I could get it all good. Yeah. So, this is a big Titan version of Makuta. I'm just trying to see what, uh, how much time I have uh, for this uh, recording. And I just started to put pieces together to see what I could come up with. I did want to do the whole uh, unique leg thing, you know, like having the legs uh, work out like this, you know, like spin them down like that, or move them up sideways, I, well not sideways, but move them up all the way, so he's standing up as tall as he can get, and I was, uh, I was pretty much mixing and matching different pieces together to see how I could make this mock a match. I used about three of the main body pieces uh, for this mock because I really wanted him to be like very big as far as, um, well as much as I could to make him big. Like one torso piece is used to connect the legs to and it's the center one and I also, also used one of those, uh, the shortest long size arm pieces and uh, connected this piece to that. And 
and there, there's this armor piece. Not quite sure what that is. So of course, I, I am gonna admit, it's kind of like a bit gappy right here. Use the red main body piece from the Breakout series for this one. And I originally had these armor pieces right here, the dark red ones, be used on the shoulders. But I decided to have them be on the chest instead, and have these rounder pieces be used for the shoulders instead. And the mask, well, just like before, you can, uh, you can have it be turned either way. You know, having it be faced like that, or having it be faced like this way. I personally do prefer it being this way a lot more. I just think that that looks, looks a bit better. I kind of uh, wanted to go for that whole Umarak the Destroyer look, because that looked like a pretty interesting set. And, well, I didn't uh, make any sort of way that he could carry a weapon, so I just went ahead and used these claws right here. Kind of, um... Well, not exactly the way that he did in the original movies, but, you know, just give him claws, because he's the master of shadow. Also gave him claws on the feet, that was the last minute thing I did right there. And it, it was actually quite complicated to get this whole thing to uh, fit together. Like, just, just trying to connect things in very hard ways. So that is about all. That is pretty much a large Titan version of Makuta using the modern character and creature building system pieces along with that Makuta as a uh, first series Hero Factory hero that I did. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that you like this one a lot better. I like this one a lot better than the little guy. So. For, uh, for story's sake, well, for one thing, this pretty much would be an interpretation of, of Makuta from the Bionicle movies, and, but it could also be uh, Makuta from the current generation of Bionicle, like maybe a big form that he takes on after he wakes up from his thousand year slumber. And of course, I, uh, I have seen an image of Makuta transformed. I assume that we will be seeing uh, Makuta in set form the following uh, year, in 2017. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. And hopefully we will, of course, also soon get the Mask of Ultimate Power in set form. We got the Mask of Creation last year, and we got the Mask of Control this year, and hopefully next year we will get the Mask of Ultimate Power. So it would be uh, quite a mystery if Makuta had that mask again, considering that Akimu knocked the mask from his face. So, I think I pretty much said everything there is to say about this character. So thank you for watching, and if you think that, that I could make some changes to this mock, like if I should use a different piece for a certain area on the uh, model, do let me know. It's good to hear what other people think uh, could have been done, or if you like it the way that it is, that's great too. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.